कुछ समय पहले ही अनघा ने टीवी इंडस्ट्री को छोड़ने की घोषणा करके अपने लाखों फैंस का दिल तोड़ दिया था अनघा ने टीवी को छोड़ दिया है और खुद को आध्यात्मिक कर लिया है वह अब कृष्ण की भक्त बन गई है और उन्होंने खुद को भगवान की सेवा में लगा दिया है नमस्कार मित्रों कैसे हैं आप सब तो स्वागत करता हूं आपके अपने चैनल आपकी एक बात में मित्रों सबसे पहले मैं आप सभी का आभार प्रकट करना चाहता हूं कि आप हमारे चैनल को बहुत पसंद कर रहे हैं और विशेष रूप से आपने हमारे पिछले वीडियो जो अंधा भोसले के जीवन पर आधारित थे उसको आपका भरपूर समर्थन मिला है इससे उत्साहित होकर हम आपके लिए अंधा भोसले की प्रवचन सभा के वीडियो की एक नई सीरीज लेकर आए हैं तो आइए शुरू करते हैं my desire is fulfilled i don't want it and you gave it because it was a desire and i thank you but now i have these you know 1 million like 10 lakh people were there on instagram is like it's a big amount how can we make use of it how can we make use of it just give me that intelligence this was before i went to ada i was not even using social media that time i wanted to stay away from everything you know everything like that whatever and uh, when i went gorang prabhu you know i had booked the room in wala for 5 days and it's been 5 months now that i am serving there i have not come from there after you know that 5 day this thing but uh, that's how i started uh, my journey in wala and that's how we started serving there so we make videos on spirituality and our mission is uh, श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभुज मिशन हाउ वी कैन मेक हरी नाम अवेलेबल टू एवरी वन दैट्स ऑल वॉट आई वॉन्ट इज मेक यूज ऑफ दैट सोशल मीडिया टू मेक पीपल अंडरस्टैंड दर इज अ हायर पार और दर इज समथिंग हायर अबाव दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड बिकॉज एवरी वन वॉज शॉक दैट वाई वुड यू लीव समथिंग विच इज गिवज यू हैप्पीनेस and gives you fame money over something which gives you nothing they think in that way but no it's the vice versa i have left unhappiness which is not going to give me anything at the end of my birth and i have chosen something which will give me my true happiness and which will give make my soul grow i would not think what will make my body grow i'll think my what will make my soul grow and progress in spirituality so that was the journey for wada and we are still serving there and yeah so this was it thank you mata ji thank you for beautiful answers hari krishna <laughs> hari krishna anyone else wants to speak something or want to share something also what they feel about spirituality or how they want to get, go ahead further whatever it is hari krishna here Hey Krishna. Hey Krishna. Um so I first want to share a small incident. Yes. So uh, my dad is very uh, connected with ISKCON. Mhm. Mm and he has been serving for a project in Wada. Okay. And so he keeps traveling there. So I he took the, us all you know with mm -hmm, him. Mm -hmm. And um I I think I I before that I never had an opportunity to like you know in person and very close up meet with Radhanath Swami Maharaj mm -hmm. and I just had this desire that oh we are in Wada and there are chances that is he there I was asking my dad you know again and again is he there will I be able to meet him and so my dad was like he's not always here he is all traveling and everything like that I don't think he's here he also had no clue if Maharaj was there. so we entered and there is this um, la a place where everybody takes lunch and prasadam yes yes so <laughs> we went there because we reached at the time of lunch so and uh, we saw maharaj i'm like oh my god i <laughs> that was a magical moment like okay i did not expect him to be there and the the, the second beautiful part about it was he was going to everyone's table one by one and talking to everyone one by one he gave his time to everyone and i did not expect that because he is such a you know 
big figure and people always want to be around him and there's so much crowd around him and stuff like that <laughs> but that day i don't know how but he could he had that time and there wasn't a lot of crowd there were just random people and everybody was enjoying their lunch so he came over to us also and um, i had a chance to uh, interact with him it was a very small interaction so i said that i you're very him. lucky <laughs> small interaction with maharaj is also very, so very divine amazing, very very amazing so i i told him that i read journey home the journey wow. home and i was so inspired by that book and in return he told me i still remember it so clearly uh, he says that you are the inspiration for me you people are the inspiration for me and i was like so touched by his words and it's 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 just a magical experience to be around such divine people you just feel that aura it's a beautiful yes, beautiful yes, aura yes. and the second uh, i am Shikshashtakam Prabhu ji, he is like the main preacher here. So with him, I again feel that aura and connection. I mean, his presence just changes the entire atmosphere. So I just wanted to talk about how spiritualism gives you a particular aura and helps you to, you know, just with the presence of that person, it can just change everything around you. See, with spirituality, we are removing the dirt from our souls, correct? we are making that diamond which is full of mud we are making it shine again and the diamond is krishna's this thing we are all his part and parcel so every part and parcel here is has its own divine power when you understand that you see krishna in everyone because your the soul is coming from him when you see krishna in everyone and everything When you say Bhagavatam, uh, the entire universe is his body, correct? Why do you think the sky is blue? <laughs> so yes, when you start your journeys, you start creating and you start making that aura stronger and that positive aura gets stronger and stronger with your sadhana. So and yes, you had the desire to meet Maharaj and he came. So Krishna answers your prayers in He is there. The only thing is when He answers it, we take it for granted. When He answers your prayers, you don't thank Him enough. You just think it was supposed to happen and it just happened. But what we should think, we should reciprocate that thing and we should thank Him enough. We should say that I'm really sorry, I'm not thanking you enough. But I know it was you. I know you answered my prayer. I know you're listening every thought I am having for every single person out here. He knows every thought. He knows everything. So it's just we forget that he knows everything. Yes. And you mentioned about the sky. So like right now it's raining and it's like <laughs> really literally sham out there. <laughs> Krishna yes. Bhagavan, the clouds. The yes, clouds. yes, and you should feel them everywhere. You should feel you. You should make use of your senses for Krishna. Seeing, touch, smell, feel, everything. Five senses for Krishna, and whatever you do, even if it's material thing in life, you should do as an offering to Krishna. Even if you all want to get married one day. think and keep that consciousness in your mind that you want to serve someone you want to create or make each other grow spiritually and make each other closer to god we want to offer each other to god and keep that consciousness in your mind and you can offer everything in life you can have that consciousness your superpower should always be on with your coats on correct so that we keep that in our mind and we should continue our journey like that i have one last question please so since childhood we've been associated with his con but i'll be very honest i am not someone who does 16 rounds of chanting mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i don't follow a proper you know the schedule which is supposed to be followed apparently or anything like you know that is ritualistic and i don't really follow it to 100% mm-hmm. even though i've been associated since childhood mm-hmm. so um, i do chant but not 16 rounds okay 
Now, my question is that since you were also associated since your childhood, do you think that being a part of the acting field, because you were in acting, did that somehow, you know, guide you more intensely to Krishna consciousness? Like that experience was required to pull you hmm. towards Krishna consciousness or without that you would just, without acting you could have See. still been so attached? Okay, that's a very good question. Thank you. And uh, yes, of course, that plays a very significant role to, you know, and that is how Krishna's Leela's work. He will, if you have the serious desire to serve him, he will make you get attracted to him even more in a very twisted way. He'll give you some situations that you break that thing and you you come closer to him. Of course that, uh, see I'll tell you he's the doer and whatever is happening, it doesn't happen without his will. It has to get go there, he has to pass it, put a stamp and then it goes. Okay? It, it, it say, it's said that on this planet not even a leaf moves without his permission. Correct? So, of course, that journey was completely and that was my own desire which he fulfilled. I desired that to be there, which he fulfilled. But he made me understand what you're desiring will take you away from me. Do you really want that? Of course, that experience made me much more closer to him and that's his mercy. That's the way he showed his love to me by getting me closer to him, you know. And that's how he does with his devotees. He gives them what they want, but he also makes sure that by getting that, they understand his value and they get closer to him. So he's like that. That's why we I tell everyone, be very careful in what you ask for. He fulfills your desire and then you're like, but you know, how come this is it? No, you asked for it. You asked for it and I gave you. So, he's very merciful and he always wants us. He's very, Krishna is very like, you know, no, that's my devotee. He's very possessive in love and all that. So, he will make sure that you come to him. But, the right desire and the right consciousness, even if it's a small consciousness that you see him everywhere, even in the wind, even in the rain. There is this uh, Madan Mohan, beautiful Madan Mohan temple in eco village where there's a lot of wind and breeze and when you walk when you chant feeling the wind and you see the presence of krishna in him that is the smallest consciousness you can get you know the very small con uh, small little little things how you think about him how you see his presence in everything will be he'll reciprocate in so much of abundance and love that you get close to him do you think that your acting, you can move it on further, like you can still act and maybe create a show that um, channelizes the ISKCON teachings or something like that? Mm -hmm. Because since you've learnt acting, do you want to maybe do something in that further? Do you think this way? Apart from reels and videos and stuff like that, like a proper show or something like that? I was not that ambitious since very young age. This just happened, you know, I was never career, career oriented. Of course you should be, it's everyone's choice. But still, um, of course this is a very nice thought. If we can uh, preach to a larger scale on a larger audience, it's a very, very good, uh, you know, we are serving Prabhupada by the service. But.